So team, keep it clean. Uh, before we get into this video, I got to give a special shout out uh, to my guy, Mike B. Mike B been supporting the channel for years now. I think actually literally like four years now. Um, but he, unfortunately, one of his family members, they going through something right now and he just need some extra support. So if y'all could put some encouraging words for him uh, in the comment section, it, it, it'll, it'll mean a whole lot, man. So team, keep it clean. I, I appreciate y'all doing that. Uh, for my guy Mike B, for our guy Mike B, because he been showing a lot of love, so we need to show him uh, that love back, man. So we rooting for you, Mike B, and hoping that everything turns out even better than you hope it does, and even better uh, than you expect it to. So we got love for you, man. So keep your head up and keep going, man. Uh, so these uh, Baltimore Ravens, um, they've been very, very busy. Uh, of course, Marlon Humphrey, uh, he's gonna be out for. It's supposed to be about a month, maybe longer, hopefully less, but we'll see. Uh, so the Ravens, they need cornerback help. The Ravens actually need a cornerback help before Marlon Humphrey went out. The Ravens actually need a cornerback help before Rocky Sane went out, before Jalen Armour Davis went out, even though he came back, which is great news, uh, before Pepe Williams went out. And he's expected to be out till I think they said October. Um, before Arthur Millette went out. Before, like They have had so many injuries at the cornerback position like all within the past week and a half, two weeks, it's been crazy. These injuries just been piling up quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, but Eric DaCosta, just as fast as the injuries piled up, uh, Eric DaCosta, he, he made some moves. He made some moves. He brought in some different guys for visits, brought in William Jackson, brought in Ronald Darby. Um, and then they brought in, um, ah, the name slips me, Anthony Brown. There we go, Anthony Brown. They brought him in as well. Uh, so they've been looking at some different guys at the cornerback position. Uh, but it's one thing to just be looking, but were they window shopping? No, they, they weren't window shopping because today uh, Ronald Darby was scheduled to visit with the Ravens today and he visited with the Ravens today and he signed with the Baltimore Ravens today. It is officially official um, and it's a one year deal worth up to three point two million dollars. I believe they said it's like maybe one point five million guarantees, something like that. Um, but. He's joining the Baltimore Ravens. So he is primarily an outside corner. Um, of course, with Marlon Humphrey, he can play outside. He can play inside as well. Uh, but they get somebody that can come in right away and help out at outside corner. So solid signing. But there's something that we got to talk about. Uh, but before we do, they also brought in uh, Anthony Brown, who used to play for the Cowboys. Uh, and Josina Anderson reported that... Uh, Free agent cornerback Anthony Brown also looked good in his workout for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Baltimore is still ma making a determination on Brown's measurables in the midst of his comeback. So they brought in Ronald Darby, but they weren't done there. They brought in Anthony Brown and took a look at him, too, because the more the merrier, especially with your number one and number two cornerbacks are out. Marlon Humphrey and Rocky Seen. And then whoever your nickel cornerback is going to be, whether it's going to be Kyle Hamilton, I expect it to probably be, especially with the situation now, um, or whether it's somebody else. If they on a roster now, who knows? But, yeah, you, you need all the help that you can possibly get right now because you do not want cornerback to break your season. I mean, you don't want nothing to break your season. But you want to be as prepared as you possibly can heading into the regular season. I know there were some people that were floating around, oh, maybe EDC will make a trade before the deadline. No, 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 no. Something needed to happen now. It needed to happen now, and it did. Uh, so he signed Ronald Darby, but with them bringing in Ronald Darby and them also uh, being interested in Anthony Brown, there's something that is concerning for me about those two because they have some stuff in common. So uh, looking at Ronald Darby, let's read Jeff Zrebic, uh, something he reported. He said, with Ronald Darby coming aboard and joining the Ravens cornerback picture, question will be how long will it take? to get him up to speed so, no problem with that okay yeah he's joining a new defense new team and whatnot yeah he got to get up to speed right yeah so that checks out but then this part darby an oxen hill maryland native so okay so he's from maryland so he he's familiar with the area so that's great okay that that checks out too but this part he tore his acl last october he played in five games for the broncos last year so he's not even a year removed from a torn acl then let's read about Anthony Brown, the Josina Anderson report, a part that I left out intentionally so we could bring it all together here. She said, my understanding is free agent cornerback Anthony Brown also looked good in his workout for the Ravens. Brown tore his Achilles last year. Baltimore is still making a determination on Brown's measurables in the midst of his comeback. So, um, Ronald Darby signed 
uh, tore his ACL last year. Um, Anthony Brown, they're interested in, tore his Achilles last year. Now, we know medical treatment and the doctors and the surgeries and all that, they are more advanced now than ever, than they ever been, ever. But to me, uh, that's still concerning. Um, and I think it should be. Uh, because you, you're bringing in guys. And, and again, hey, like my guy Nitty Gritty said, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to the Ravens right now. Because they're literally begging right now because they ain't got many options. They really don't. So I ain't mad with the, with the signings and the interests or whatnot, but I'm just more so concerned. And I'm, I'm pretty sure William Jackson, who they brought in for a visit to, uh, he missed some, some, some significant time last year, I want to say. But either way, um, yeah, that's a, a little bit scary. Uh, but again, Ravens are, this is what they got to work with, man. This is, these are their options. Uh, and you know what's funny? It's funny because um, Bryce Callahan, that was a name that's been floating around. And, and Kyle Vanoy, he even brought up Bryce Callahan. He, he would be a slot cornerback. But I'm, I believe that just today, like, we ain't heard nothing about Bryce Callahan this whole offseason except from Kyle Vanoy yesterday. But I believe it was today that he had a visit, I want to say with the Miami Dolphins, I think. But he, he had his first visit in who knows how long. So funny how, how timing is, man. But we'll see. We'll see what the Ravens end up doing. Um, with Marlon Humphrey, hopefully he had a nice, smooth, clean surgery. Um, and like we talked about earlier, there are no setbacks. There are no limitations when he does get back uh, here and he can't have a full recovery. Uh, Josina Anderson she mentioned earlier that with her, from her understanding of Marlon Humphrey and his foot injury, uh, she thinks that it's smart that he did get the surgery now. Uh, he went ahead and nipped this thing in the bud so he can be there for the long haul and when it counts the most. Obviously talking about later on in the season and then playoffs and then hopefully play up more playoffs and more playoffs and Super Bowl and then hold the Super Bowl trophy. That will be great. So... No, yesterday, like, yesterday stressed us out when we first got the Marlon Humphrey news. It's like, really, where this come from? But um, now, I mean, I'm still stressed out about it, too, because it's, it's Marlon Humphrey. It's not only the best cornerback on the team, but it's one of the best cornerbacks in the league, and now he's going to be out of action uh, for some time. Uh, the Ravens, they're going to be going up against the Texans, the Bengals, the Colts, and I forgot who the other game is. For Ravens schedule, I, I just I don't remember. I used to memorize it a long time, years ago, but I, I just don't anymore. I just can't anymore. So I go week by week and day by day. Uh, but anyway, I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Ronald Darby, welcome aboard. Um, and Anthony Brown, we'll probably see you soon, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, again, make sure y'all give a, a special shout-out, uh, some nice comforting words to our guy Mike B., like I said, he could really, really use it right now. And uh, coming from y'all, it will be extra, extra special. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we gone, man. We out.